you know, when you're doing modding, no matter which game it's in, Beam and G, etc., of course, or GTA 5, SnowRunner, all that sort of stuff, you'll often find when you're trying to do something new or better, just digging through the game files to find little nuggets of gold. So when I was looking for the flat eight audio for this, I had to go digging through some files because I know that Beam and G has a lot of different audio stuff from like, yeah, three cylinders, four cylinders, boxes, to six, eights, and even tens but I wasn't really sure if it would exist. So if you go into the BMG directory, you'll find a few zips here with some audio stuff related to it. And this is basically how you go about picking which audios you have an option from. I mean, alternatively, you go to the car you want and then try to find it there, but to find what's available to actually use, this is a good way to do it. Inside of here, we got a thing called blends, and these are the audio files you could select from. And if you go down, further than that, keep it going, here it is, V12s. And that got me thinking, I wonder if I could actually use this. This is an in-game Canon V12 that is currently not utilized. Uh, ignore the V16, we're not gonna be doing that today. Now, to make this a little bit more complicated, if we go into this one here, and we go into art, sounds, and then engines, uh, we have boxer engines, which is represented here, inline four engines, which would be something like this, then your sixes, like this one, and so on with the V6s, V8s, and V10s. Now, the reason why I'm not certain that this is the be-all and end-all, because that is a fairly wide representation, is that there's no I3 here. But if we go into here, we can see that this has an inline three cylinder. So even though the files aren't there, maybe it's hidden in some other way, and I want to give it a try. But which car? Do I turn into a V12? See, it would be easy to do a V6, so I'm thinking I could go something like a V6 and then make it bigger. But that's the, like, easy, lazy person way out. I, on the other hand, kinda wanna do this. Reach under there, pop that hood open. Do I think I can fit a V12 in there? Probably not, but I'm going to try it anyway. First things first, create a new mod then try to pick a v6 that i might want to use okay well we got the japanese v6 let's have a quick look at that one take off the hood and that is a double overhead cam v6 nice i kind of want to do this because it looks a little bit like bland ford mondeo-ish compared to anything else that's available and then we got like the aston martin where jeremy clarkson famously said that it's just two v6s well together it's kind of what I want to do right now. So, in the context sections, midsize. Then grab the files we need, start renaming these things, then change this to be Covert Engine. That should be all I need really for now. Quick little control L to reload all the lure. Or at least I think it's reloading lower because I'd assume that due to the using an L, I don't know. Anyway, we now have our vehicle and do we have okay good name is working oh okay it's not quite worked the way i wanted it to i suppose we should go in here and change this also to covet go in and yes we now have the transmission option then Perfect. We're already driving. That good. The engine, though, is not mounted particularly great. I'm also I'm, I'm gonna take the hood off so I can see easily what it is I'm doing. Uh, as for the engine mounts, we will deal with that in a sec. The positioning, though, I think it's doing all right. Import uh, files. Okay, yep, we don't need most of this. Then also import the J-beam. And I suppose let's start with rotating it around. I think I'm also going to lose the turbo stuff. Kind of want to leave this naturally aspirated, to be honest. And now, you know what, we'll hide all of those bits. Let's work on making this into a V12. Because I really, really want to show off how amazing... Uh, BMG's hidden secret V12 is. One problem though, this intake manifold is kind of facing the wrong way. I can just go here, scale on the Y axis minus one. Oh, that's not worked quite how I wanted it to. But that should about do it. Well, let's grab these parts. We don't need 
absolutely everything because we're gonna go in and get rid of these belts since we, we don't need belts inside of the engine bay. Now, I wonder, can I quickly just go in and then hit hide on that? And then we could fit that even snugger. I think that works. Okay, how's this gonna work? It's kind of butted up against? Hmm, okay, so the one last problem here is the intake manifold, but I think I know how to fix it. Okay, well, there's also that. Oil pans need to be put together, I think. Oh, good, I could select the oil pan all on its own some. Get you, get you, delete, and then you. Merge up. Perfect. And I think we're going to do a similar thing here with this. Oh god, what a, what a, I pressed something. I don't know what I've pressed. What I meant to do was go in and just hit delete on that and then drag that out just the same. Hmm. That did end up taking a little bit more effort to do. What I really could have done is maybe flipped it over that side to give it kind of more credence to it just be kind of uh slapdash together. But I think that's about done. All right, let's start joining them together. Now really the last thing to do is to modify all these beams. Move engine mount, uh, positions backwards. Oil pan can stay in the same place. Things like exhaust, you know what? That's all fine and dandy. I think we're pretty good. Then because I renamed everything to be covered, we also have to go into all of the flex, but you know, actually I'm just gonna go in, replace everything midsize with instead covet, replace, then everything V6 with V12. Done. Oh God, please still work. Control R. Please, please work. Damn it! I get the feeling I forgot to export all of these flexporty things. F4 export D. Yes! Good. Perfect. What the hell is that? Oh, that's I think. Yeah, th those are pulleys. Yep, I've stuffed that one up. Oh, I know what I did. Oh, I rotated the pulleys in the mesh and not so the points in the God damn it! Well, luckily I have an easy way to select just them. And please to God. Set origin, uh, origin to geometries. Perfect. Okay. Is that, is that going to fix everything? Maybe. <laughs> God. Okay. I know what I did wrong here. Please God work this time. Yes. Perfect. Okay. Next problem. Doesn't exactly fit now, does it? But do I care? I kind of love it to the way that it is. I wonder, does it still sound like a V6? Yeah, it should, right? I can't draw- oh wait, hold on, I've got it slowed down. There we go. Perfect. Love those engine mounts. Oh, and it's broken. Awesome. I haven't- what? I don't know why it broke. That doesn't make sense. I suppose let's grab some engine mounts from a normal longitudinal sort of vehicle. And then engine mounts, perfect. And then engine mounts inwards. Make sure they're selectable. And, oh god, please have this one work. Engine mounts, stock engine mounts. Okay. It seems... Vaguely stiff. I think what we're gonna need next is a transmission and a way to get power to the rear. Do we actually have like good rear suspension? There's no differential choice. Fantastic. Hmm, I could go to the effort of putting a rear differential in here, but I am quite lazy, so I'm just gonna fake it until I make it because all I care about is the thumbnail because I need this to be clickbait. Isn't that how I get to become a big YouTuber, right? Actually, speaking of which, uh, help me get to 100,000 subscribers for the end of the year. Like, check to see if you're subscribed or not. Are you? Do you think I deserve 100,000? Currently, the transmission is still a transverse one. Does it drive? Yep. Okay. Drives those front tires. Uh, let's also grab an ETK transmission. I, I think the transmission will work perfectly for what we want. Doesn't look like it needs much changing either, so... Grab you, put you into pl perfect, and then I ooh, we might have to create a custom rear suspension as well. What transmission do we have? We have a five-speed manual. Wait, I renamed the transmission to be Covet V12 transmission. So let's put that in. Then let's go and select that transmission. I'm thinking four-speed automatic seems very fitting for this. 
Okay, that did okay. No flex, buddy. God damn it. Oh, God, that's a mess of errors. Let's clear this out, refresh, and try again. Yep, that's a lot of problems. Unable to open JSON file in uh, blends. Oh, yeah, okay. Engine sound problems. Yeah, there's, um, as you can hear, no engine sounds. That's because I went like a blundering sort of like control F. Okay, this is now where we change over our good old engine sounds. V12, we got engine and the exhaust versions. Do we get sound? Oh, -ho -ho! I don't know where this driveline is attaching to. Wait, it wants to have it into a differential. Is that the problem? It might need a differential. I mean, I could try doing this one because I know that has a transition, but I think we'll go this one. Delete everything we don't need. We only need the one bit, which is just this. Then just duplicate that. And what did I call the new differential? I, I made some new differential stuff out of some EDK stuff. V12 differential, stick that in there. Then in here, we got our rear suspension, let's- oh. Well, that sucks. I mean, it's in here. It should work. Oh, wait, hold on. Wheel drive. Okay, we've got to change that name. Then it shows up. Perfect. And we should have rear diff- rear different- what's happening? I don't see the rear differential. Though, hold on, if I mouse over this, I do see a drive shaft? Okay. Oh, it's because I didn't change the name of it, I'm an idiot. Now our rear diff shows up, though still no transmission. The drive shaft is kind of like tucked away in here. Yep, there's the drive shaft visible from inside the cockpit. Just don't put your hand in the wrong place, otherwise it'll get like ripped into... That's not great. Why is the transmission not there? Moments later. I think, what happens if we get rid of the half shafts? Does that... I think that fixed it. Oh yes, perfect. Okay, we don't need the half shaft code. And there we go. <laughs> that is stupid and I love it. You're stupid and I love it. Okay, what more can we do here? You know what we haven't done? We haven't gone to the power section and then double the power numbers because we literally have twice the amount of engine. So, oh, oh, hold on. 140 becomes 280. And then, hold on, let's bring out the power app. We currently make 190 horsepower. We need to make a lot more than that. So that's like nearly 400. We have a sport ECU and a race ECU. Good. We can increase the RPM limit. But still, 190 horsepower becomes 410. That's, uh, that's more than double. There's a slight possibility. I'm <laughs> putting... And smidging too much power through this and a pop to the engine. Okay, back up to the engine. I forgot to do one other thing. And then we got to change this to be double as well. So max torque rating goes from 320, what's that? 650 and then over torque damage becomes 800. Now this time it shouldn't pop quite so easily. That's, that's still a, it's a lot of power. What's drifting like? Oh God. You know what? I haven't also doubled the engine weight size because it is double the weight now and this thing could really do with a good diff. Open differential? Hell no! Nah. Limited slip all the way, bruv! <laughs> there we go! Look at all the extra traction we have. Didn't even need to clutch dump or anything, just ease onto the power. And wheel spin for days. So I'm not gonna like fully double the weight. I think we're gonna go like mostly double, so something like 38, uh, because it's not exactly double the weight. And does that make that suspension any less able to handle it? Ooh, that's a lot. You know what? Oh, I think we're fine. Oh, I see no issues here, bruv. What? Then for the race ECU section, I'm thinking 18,000. Nah, that's too much. Let's go to like 12,000 RPM. I think though we're gonna have to put in some extra like power stuff for this though. Since this vehicle doesn't come with it, we'll grab some code for how to add power through a slot from a different engine. Then we'll go to stage... Th oh, nope. We only go to stage two internals. Okay, that's fine. Main engine, we can grab torque multiplier and easily just drop that in there. Okay. 
Uh, this is gonna have to go much higher though, because at 8,000 this thing is basically dead. A little longer than a few minutes later. Alright, I've done a little bit of work here to get this to work. Uh, and I think it's pretty good now to be called a race engine. Come on, drive. Nope, go into drive. Why is it? Why is it not going to drive? Oh, that's right. I made this. Uh, I, I had to restart the game, and yeah, it completely messed everything up. Same with independent rear wheel drive suspension, front suspension. I don't. I don't want to have a differential there, so we'll get rid of the. Okay, I don't see where the front differential is. Anyway, we got open rear diff. Let's go. Limited slippery diff, and then let's put some like race toys and things on. I don't know if four lugs are really gonna do it, but. <laughs> Sure, we'll give it a try. 13s, 15s, let's go like 16s. Do we have like wider than 8 inch, 6? No, we don't. Okay, 17 inch tires. That doesn't go up to 17 inch tires. God damn it. Okay, what? Wow, not even 15s go that wide. That's lame. But wait, oh, no, hold on. No, I was mistaken. There is some 15 by 10s. Those are some fat ass wheels. Okay, that works nicely. As for the tires, sport tires, get that garbage out of here. All right, got our race slicks on. Perfecto. Hmm, we don't have like a wide body to tuck these tires, do we? That's a... Uh, this is gonna look a bit silly by the, the, I'm thinking. Then obviously, let's do a Laguna Seca time because we're going to compare it against all of our other builds. But wait, hold on, you know what? This thing could actually do with some downforce. Do I, do I even have a wing available to me? Spoiler, low spoiler, really? Is that it? That's weak. Wing, spoiler, oh, okay, no, nope, I can have Two! Uh, adjustable wing? Perfect! wonder if unpainted front bumper... Hmm... Ocadai front bumper? What the hell is that? Sure, that's a thing. Okay, time to... Okay, you know what? I think I broke it trying to tune it in the middle of trying to do some stuff. There you go. Alright, have to relaunch the game and... Okay, good. We're better this time. That's a lot of wheel spin. I mean, I know we're doing 12,000 RPM. Jesus. Okay. That was a bad lap. I think we're going to have to be a little bit more reasonable with the power. Oh, BMG doesn't know how to select gears properly. But there we go. <laughs> okay. Yep, that RPM change under gear shifts is pretty horrific. Oh my God. I think I need to do some more tuning of the suspension before we do a hot lap. Okay. Let's try this again. Hopefully this time... Everything seems to be working good. Okay, this thing really leans over to one side under torque. It's got so much torque. I've even put like race sway bars on, which is something I forgot earlier. And it's just not enough. This thing just generates way too much torque on the entire vehicle. Oh dear. I mean, I d oh, you know what I didn't do? I didn't increase the engine inertia because the inertia of this engine is now going to be double the amount with double the amount of internals. I suppose, you know what, it doesn't have, um, quite twice the amount because it wouldn't have the, oh god, balancing mass, damn it, of double. Or maybe it might, I'm not sure. But let's retry this. Okay, there we go. Much better that time. Ease on the power, be careful about powering full and going around any sort of curve as well. Okay, corkscrew, legendary, tricky corner. <laughs> and it's struggling. Oh, it really loves to understeer and then oversteer. It's got all the steers. It wants to do both of them at the same time, which is just not a good controllable car. Okay. Ease on that power. Penultimate corner. Get it slowed down. Turned in. Oh, don't power on too early because it will just kick out wide. Then final corner. Oh, yep. Slow turn. Oh god, this would be so much easier if I had my sim race rig set up, but I just don't have it at the moment because it's down to be like rebuilt and a cross. Whoa, Jesus! Actually, what the hell? That's not a bad time. So, not the best time, but you know, with how hard it is to drive and how terrible it was, and the fact that the engine is predominantly in front of the front axle, actually, it's not a bad time, huh? So. That is Beamer G's secret unhidden unknown. Oh, well, uh, sorry, hidden unknown. I swear I know how to speak English. Anyway, you get the idea. Beamer G's secret V12 thing that they're probably going to do something with in the future, but they haven't yet. And I just kind of wanted to kill two birds with one stones. 
One, I wanted to do the Jeremy Clarkson 2v6s well together. And two, I wanted to try out this audio stuff. Now, I have used this audio before, and I kind of forgot that I had until I was about halfway through this episode, uh, on my big V12 truck. And if you remember that one, that was... Uh, also an interesting build, though it sounds very different because I left the diesel sound parameters on and the brakes in this thing just cooking instantly. Maybe I got the wrong sorts of pads on, but this thing struggled during this uh, bit of recording here. Ah, this was fun. I love it. It's great. It's easy. Pumped one out. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope also my channel members enjoyed it specifically. That includes my top tier channel member, the Rogue Tick, the Crayon Priest, who is an absolute bro for still being a channel member this long on. God, bro, you're amazing. I love you. Mwah. For everyone else, though, go f find another video of mine to watch. Yeah, so, uh, yeah good. Make sure you subscribe. Bye.